to my channel i hope you're well having a fabulous sorry hope you're all having a fabulous week so i've been thinking and what i'm gonna do is start like a new series on my channel called jody tried and tested so hopefully you all like the sound of that so i did put on my instagram the other day asking what brands you wanted to see featured and i got quite a lot of brands basically going to review them and test their clothes and give you guys my honest opinion so you know if it's worth spending your money on or not so i've decided to start with nasty gal nasty gal is one of those sites kind of like i saw it first that always have massive sales on so i don't know if their prices are ever actually like a hundred percent i don't know if they just do that as like a marketing tool so i've tried to get like a range of things like some summer things just some like basics just to like test quality design styles and just like give you an overall review the first thing i picked up was so it's this like sage can you see that long sleeved crop top so yeah i've just tied that there just like a long sleeved and um, i think it's really nice actually and it feels nice quality um it's got like balloon sleeves here that have elastic at the end so i like that it's like quite milk -maidy. i like that it's got like the detail under the boobs just to like hold them off i think this will look really nice hopefully i got that in a size eight and it was seven pound 20 but even like 15 pound for this is a really good like the quality feels really nice so hopefully it fits nice so i've just tried this let me are into focus this top on it excuse the joggers um I do like it. It's not as like supportive as I hoped it would be. Like, and with a bra, you can kind of see the straps. But it's that like typical ma milk made vibe. I like that it's square neck, but equally I quite like it off the shoulder like that. So, yeah, it is a gorgeous. I'll actually, I like off the shoulder like slouchy, like just with maybe some black joggers to show you up close see like it is a gorgeous top but it's just not the best quality so next up i've got this big oversized black blazer i've wanted a black blazer for quite a while now but then obviously with lockdown and things i kind of just thought what is the need to buy a blazer this one i thought looked really nice it's got like um almost like tortoise shell buttons i just thought it was like a nice oversized black blazer it's got pockets i got it in a size small i didn't want to get it in a medium i didn't know how oversized it would actually be so we'll see because they called it an oversize i think this was 26 pound which is obviously really good for a blazer it doesn't feel the best quality i'm not gonna lie like it feels quite thin but i like the little button detail it's got it on the front it's like double breasted it's got it on the sleeves so i do like the style of it and it's got some sort of like um shoulder pads in the pocket so hopefully it's nice it doesn't look as oversized as i was hoping but but like in terms of a nice black blazer just to wear like formally i think this is a nice blazer so not a massive fan but we'll try it on and see so i've just put like a pair of black cycling shorts on and a black big oversized tee for the blazer actually like like this actually quite like it and um, with all black maybe i would just kind of tuck this top in a little i do actually like it like i didn't think i would like this but i actually do and um, i don't know if i would just want it a little bit bigger but then i'm scared it would be longer just like on the arms you know like it's not super you know like you put your arms out and you kind of can see your wrist the quality isn't amazing but for under 30 pound i don't know if you would get a blazer a better quality i've got a blazer from plt i mean it is bright orange but the quality this is a little bit thicker than this one not much but this one feels a little bit more like sturdier and it kind of gives you a little like it holds its shape more overall i do like it and i think these outfits are really cool like just going shopping like you are comfy it's in cycling shorts a t-shirt and then just put a blazer on like a pair of trainers i think can just look really cool and like the fact you've got a blazer on kind of makes it look as if you've really made an effort i think if the arms were a bit longer i would be like really really happy with it but yeah because i love the length actually like it is actually probably the perfect length i wouldn't want it any shorter i i have gone to the effort of adding like and they're not just any buttons like they are yeah like they are like almost like tortoise shell buttons and i like that it all matches so yeah 
I am actually impressed by this. So next up, this is again something that I've been looking for and wanted to buy for a while now. So basically it's just like a black unitard and I did want one with like big straps. However, they didn't have one, but I thought with um, a bandeau one, maybe with just a crop jumper over the top or like a cardigan or a blazer, you wouldn't be able to see the straps anyway. This is a size 10. I think they're just nice to run around in like maybe with a checkered shirt. Um, trainers again to the airport but it's not the best quality and I don't like that on the top of the bandeau it's like I mean I guess it's for it to stay up but it kind of is just like it's got a lot of hang I don't know we'll see how it fits when it's on but looking at it right now it's like a crepe material so again that was only £7.20 so I've got the unitard on I mean considering this is a size 10 and I'm usually like a 6 or 8 it is very tight like there is not much there's not much material spare but I do actually like like I like this but especially I just wish it had straps but I think that's just like a personal um, opinion just because I don't really like this <laughs> being out so much but it's better than I thought it would I like that it's really high waisted um, but yeah I just feel like I would be one of those people that would be constantly pulling this up and faffing so it's really flattering actually like I feel like it makes my waist really come in so yeah. so yeah I do actually quite like it okay something that I don't let me just open them so you don't hear the rustle so yeah something that i don't typically wear day to day but i picked up these snake print flares and it's like a pink white and black print feel okay like they don't feel the best quality they don't feel anything like the top shop or adidas ones i have but i think these are just nice like maybe on holiday for like festivals i'm not really a festival girl but if you are i think these are really nice like you could probably just put a belt around them i don't know i just thought it's something different push the boat out so they were 11 pound 25 with the discount so i think that's a really good price but i wouldn't want to pay more don't think i would want to pay 20 pound but 11 pound i definitely would gotta push yourself out sometimes instead of just buying everything neutral and unprinted which i do every single time i order clothes i just think it's nice to have something a little bit different okay so i've got the flares on and i actually love them so they're just like this they are a little bit long probably have to have them taken up like maybe an inch but just i'm small <laughs> So I'd say as long as you're like five foot five and above, they'd probably be the exact right length for you. Yeah, I just think they're so flat and I actually love them. They're a lovely print and I like that it's like, I thought they'd be more in your face than they are. Like, I feel like it's quite actually a subtle print. I think they could just look lovely on holiday with like some sandals. So yeah, very happy. Okay, so next item I picked up, I actually got in two colours. Just because I think these are a necessity and I really don't have any. Just these big t-shirt dresses. So I got mine in a size, oh they just come in one size. So I got a grey one and a white one and I just think, you can actually see my Jordans, so I was going to say a big t-shirt like this with my Jordans, a little black bag, maybe a black hat, like a cap. And I just think like it's such an easy look in summer just to put on like if you're going shopping. They're lovely to wear on the plane. They're just like something comfy to throw on like if you're meeting your friends to go for lunch. And you don't want to be in like a very tight fitted dress but you still want to get your legs out. Then these are like the perfect thing. This is the white one. It's just obviously the same plain and plain and white and i just think these are like so nice to just be able to grab it if your wardrobe so these were eight pound each and i think that's really good like honestly they feel really nice quality i wasn't expecting these to be as thick as they feel hopefully this isn't see-through because there's nothing worse than having a see-through top but yeah i just think these are so nice even with like a little belt around your waist to pull it in I think they can just look really nice definitely something that i want to start wearing this year because i think they look really nice so i've got the t-shirt dress on and i'm actually really happy with how it looks like it is super oversized but not so that it's like hanging off me like it does just fit nice it kind of comes i'm just on my tiptoes but it just comes like 
below the bum with like a pair of Jordans on and like a, just a black crossbody bag. So these are super nice, like for the airport. Lovely jacket, very jacket. I'm gonna switch to the white to make sure that's not see-through. Okay, so this is the white one and it is not see-through. I've got bright pink pants on and I can't see them at all in the mirror. This one does feel like a bit bigger. I don't know how that would work, but it does feel like a little bit longer. The grey one seems a bit more boxy. Um, I don't know. Maybe like a corset underneath and some knee-high boots on a night out with like a little bag. I think that could look really cool. And I think they had these in like a lot of different colours. I just picked up like a white and a grey one because as I said, I never buy things in colour. So definitely check those out. Even just over a bikini. Isn't it mad that like people have started going on holiday? Like I haven't even gone to the shops yet. Like obviously I've gone food shopping and stuff like that. But I haven't gone to a clothes shop. And then like I go on my Snapchat and there's people on holiday and I'm like, wow. Let me know what you guys think. Like, would, are you gonna book holidays? Have you booked a holiday? Like, how are you? How are you thinking? Me and my mum are hoping that we can go on holiday like near the end of the year for like our birthday. But I don't know if, if we will book. I don't know, let me know what you guys think. Okay, so this top, I was really excited for. Like, this is really something that I love. It is this knitted, ribbed it's like very thick it's like really woolen very thick material um, and it's like a camely beige little bralette and i just think you can't beat these like we've imagined just some like high-waisted leggings maybe the same color some trainers a big bomber or a big cardigan like imagine on holiday you've got some like little shorts blue denim shorts you've got a big fedora hat on like a woven fedora hat some little espadrilles espadrilles that is like espadrilles not espadrilles <laughs> um i just think it's really nice tough and it's very thick like i'm very impressed with the quality actually i didn't think it would be that material so this was eight pound again yeah i got this in a size medium i think there was no smalls available but to be honest i don't think this looks very big anyway so i think this is the size that i would want so the small would probably be too small for me because the last thing you want is a boot popping out the side or the front yeah i just think it's nice like having all the different panels i don't know it's something different but like it's classic too like you're never gonna not want to wear this i like that the straps are just all the way so that you could wear a bra so yeah excited about this this is probably one of my favorite things that i picked up oh my god this top i actually love i think like it just feels so like it feels so expensive and like it was so affordable it's so thick and like i feel very um supported so i've just popped on like a little white bra could wear in so many different ways and it's just gonna look like amazing every time like imagine the same color um like some knitted trousers maybe i'll try and see if nasty girl do like some trousers to match hey one bag down one to go okay so this is wow that doesn't really pick up on the camera this white like bardo like it's organza style top and i've never really been a fan of this trend like i always thought it was a little bit too much but i think in this like white it's like really like you can it's see-through isn't it but like this white see-through material i think would look so nice so i picked this up i was really excited when i saw this i got it in a size eight and I didn't know if it would be see-through, but it actually looks like it's got some top sort of lining. It's showing up more on the camera than it does in purse. I didn't know if you'd have to wear nipple covers or a strapless bra, like a white one or something. But I just think it's really nice. It feels nice quality. I don't know if this material would itch me though. We'll have to see, but I think this is like a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous top. Like imagine on holiday. I'm always thinking holiday vibes, but... I don't know on holiday with like some denim shorts a white belt white sandals maybe like a little white bag on a night out with some leather leggings oh imagine that some leather leggings high-waisted and um, perspex heels and a little white bag wow. or even um some blue ripped jeans i think that would look so nice like some high-waisted blue ripped jeans maybe the ones with the split hem at the bottom maybe some white heels you know 
those heels that wrap around the jean. I think that could look really nice. I'm sorry if the angle changed slightly. Um, the disc, the memory card was full, so I panicked a little bit. But it really wasn't that much of a big deal. It's just a lead old clips. So yeah, <laughs> let's get back to it. So this was eleven pound twenty five to be exact. And honestly, I think you like you would see this in Zara if it fits nice. I think you would see this in Zara for like. £30 at least. I do like really bronzy tan, bronzy makeup, glow all on the chest. Wow, wow, wow. Focus. So, to start with, it is quite see through. I've put a bra on, but I think depending how comfortable you are, either wear a white bandeau and just come on, focus white bandeau and have it just like solid color all the way round, or just with nipple cover yeah it just depends like how confident you are as an individual so next i picked up a cord and my boyfriend says that it looks like pajamas but stay with me on this if these fit nice i have like a vision in mind very big and very creased it's like they call it like the lilac glass cord. so it's these little purple shorts if that will fit focus can you see how gorgeous the color is i was imagining these shorts on with maybe a white bikini top or a white like very small crop top so imagine like beach vibes like you're going to the beach you just want want something to throw on and then i was imagining the shirt oh like oversized open completely open off one shoulder just like draped over the bikini and like maybe even without the shorts like you could wear them on their own with the bikini or together and have like a little cord i got this in a size six or i was thinking like if it wasn't completely open maybe just have the top button done you can see your white top shorts and then have half of the shirt tucked in and then the half out like i can imagine this being in zara like and i think this would probably be like nearly 50 pounds to be honest such a nice material it's not seen through the colour of it is gorgeous. Like, I've really never seen anything this colour. Like, how it's so iridescent and, like, reflective. I think it's really, really beautiful. kind of like that vibe. Like, if they are a tad see-through that you can see the bikini. I don't know how see-through they'll actually be. So, the top was £13.50 and the shorts were £11. So, I couldn't find a white, my white bikini. I've just got this black crop top on. But imagine this is white. So, I do wish that the shorts were a little tighter. Like, I have got quite a lot of room so i want you to really be able to see the colour like it looks so luxury but they're not actually as long as i thought they'd be but yeah i just wish they were a little bit smaller today my camera just keeps falling stop but yeah can you see like how gorgeous the colour is it's like so shiny and like it is like glass like that's what they called on the website like purple glass the fact that nasty gal is selling things like this for so cheap is actually insane when i'm doing these type of like tried and tested videos i kind of wanted to just experiment and see what if their quality if their quality is like everywhere and if their sizing is on point and things like that so that's kind of why i haven't just got items that i would usually buy i have kind of tried to push myself out of my comfort zone so i ordered this star and they haven't sent it Oh, so today they have 55% off everything. So yeah, they didn't send that top. I don't know. I'll have to check my emails. Maybe it wasn't in stock or something. So the last clothing item I picked up was this big oversized t-shirt dress again. I got this in a size small. I don't like them to be too big because I'm so short. Like, I would rather them be a little bit risky to wear and put cycling shorts on then them be long and like just look like they hang off me so prints on the front so like a nice like graphic tee i can just think with like maybe black biker boots or black trainers and a little book sack i think it can just look really nice and it's just like something easy to put on like maybe like a big black bomber over the top and just have like a cool look these feel so nice quality they don't feel cheap or thin so this is the dress on i really like it actually like it's just chilled like imagine just like black converse or black vans maybe some even biker boots with like the little socks showing i just think it's really nice like it looks really flattering in the mirror actually just shopping with like maybe a little black bag some trainers just like super chill but again like because of the print 
it's kind of like wow this isn't as thick as the grey one felt it's a little bit thinner but um it's not thin if you know what I mean but so maybe like if you did just want a black one get the version of that but if you did want to print like I'm really happy with this yeah so the last item I picked up was this gorgeous little white bag it really smells of paint I thought it was coming from outside I thought someone must have been painting but I mean it's raining got this long strap if you wanted so you could have it you know obviously a bit longer than that but and this feels good quality actually like it doesn't feel amazing don't get me wrong but I mean it was not very expensive it's just the strap more than anything that feels like cheap so you could wear it like this which I'd like or you could have it like this at night which I think is nice for like a night out so again this was only £11 and I think for something like this that's really good like I wonder how long it will last obviously I haven't worn it I don't know if it will scuff but the only it's just the paint smell is so strange so I've just tried everything I like you've just seen and wow like wow 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 I'm actually like blown away at how much I liked everything how well everything fit so I think they've like nailed just looking at everything down there like wow look at my new wardrobe and um, I think they've nailed like the the more luxury pieces like this and the co-ord really well got some good basics too so like the big t-shirt dresses I think were really nice the blazer and um, when I tried it on I liked it a lot more they've really got a range of things that are really good quality obviously the price of things are so good and it's so affordable with like the discounts on so yeah girls get down to Nasty Gal because I definitely would recommend it I would like rate Nasty Gal very high like I don't want to say 10 out of 10 because will we get better but I would say I'd rate Nasty Gal 8 out of 10. As always, everything will be linked below. And I always asterisk my favourite items so you know which ones I would personally recommend. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you do have any other brands for this Jodie tried and tested series that I'm going to be doing, then please let me know. So yeah, I've got lots of ideas and lots of different like orders going. So maybe if you've seen a brand but you don't know whether to order from them, you don't know if it, whether it's worth it. I'll try it. I'll be the guinea pig for us all. I'll order and try it. Hope you all enjoyed this video. As I said, don't forget to subscribe. Give the video a big thumbs up. And I will see you next week, Wednesday at 5pm. Bye, guys.